Hi guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a clothing haul. I recently did one last week, so if you guys want to go check that one out, I'll have it linked down below. If you do have an interest in clothing hauls, definitely subscribe because it's something that I do pretty often. This haul is pretty massive. It's going to be a long one, so grab a snack. I Who said? Someone says that. I think it's Jacqueline Hill. Very excited. Let's dive right in. So last minute, I decided that I wanted to do a giveaway. We hit 30k subscribers, so thank you guys so much. I'm just going to be giving you guys a $50 gift card to one lucky person. I know it's not anything extreme. I wish maybe, maybe one day we'll get there where I can like give away a MacBook or something. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is subscribe and you can follow me on Instagram. I know some people said they don't have an Instagram, so you can also follow me on Pinterest. And then after, please comment done and your Instagram and Pinterest and you have to follow all these rules especially the part where you comment your instagram and pinterest super easy super simple i think and when i contact you if you are the giveaway winner which is chosen randomly uh, you will like tell me what your favorite store is and make sure that that store has an online gift card so that i can basically like email it to you and you can start shopping away also these are today's shout outs up on the screen if you want to shout out for the future all you have to do is be subscribed and follow me on instagram as well comment something that you enjoyed throughout the video and that's pretty much it all right so i have a huge bag of clothes here and i don't even know where to start so i do have quite a few things from yes style i do have a discount code it is just i think it's michaela max it might be michaela max or michaela i'll have it up on the screen i'm gonna start off with these asymmetrical jeans that i got which we all know asymmetrical jeans are like very much in style right now if you're five two or even five three like these will be really long on you so i recommend wearing it like with a platform super adorable it's funny because my parents and like my family they completely make fun of me they're like are those like how those jeans are supposed to work and i'm like yes it's a style right now one of my favorite things that i picked up from yes style is this tennis skirt also very in trend right now i actually really really like this skirt and like the length of it it's not like too long on me so it's not really unflattering it's actually very flattering so i also picked it up in this plaid little print this one i i think i've paired with like a white or black top you can't really mix it up with too much but i really like this skirt it's super super adorable very nice another favorite of mine are these zebra pants zebra print is very much in style any type of animal print is very in style they have like a very nice length to them so i am 5'4 and i think these fit me pretty well actually like they don't go too short too long very nice and i would say the material isn't the best it's kind of thin but I've had like no trouble, like it's not ripped on me or anything. So it's still really nice, very flattering. Next up, we have a classic that is sort of going all around right now, which are oversized sweatshirts. This one just says Niagara Falls on it. It's pretty huge. Unfortunately, it did shrink in the wash. That was kind of like my fault for not telling my parents not to wash it in warm water or dry it or warm water, whatever shrinks it. If you are looking for oversized sweatshirts, I would highly recommend yes style they do have a lot of cute stuff and i really like that one it's really cute <laughs> all right so i'll move on to this little top right here that's just sitting right next to me and it is from aliexpress or i ordered something along with it and it hasn't arrived yet but i don't know if it's like missing or like it's not coming at all but um i'll insert a picture of it so this is the one that i picked up or that has at least delivered it has the leopard sort of print the lace trimming all the detailing here just makes it such a really pretty and cute top also by the way the earrings that i'm wearing i'll have her instagram links below are from my friend emily's sort of like jewelry shop they're really nice very beautiful and my necklace is also from francesco's so is my rings i have them on the hunt for a lemon align dupe legging i tried those on in store immediately fell in love but given the price i was like i don't know if i'm willing to pay 99 dollars. i came across these in aries these are it they have like this really cute detailing and then the 
the butt area it's very flattering as well which is strange because i don't even have a butt but it makes me look a little bit shaped around there feeling feels very light and airy super soft and buttery like i don't know if you can just look and like tell on camera very affordable price compared to the lululemons and i actually picked them up in this brown color which you guys will see in the tron portion ever since i bought them i have nearly almost worn one of these pairs every single day i got a couple things from fabletics i did the two for 24 deal i picked up these black leggings and these ones i'm not with, quite sure what the name is i know it's the seventh eighth length i got them in extra extra small and they're very tight on me especially like when i sort of just like crisscross applesauce they're like cutting off my circulation they're definitely not light and airy like the ones i just mentioned the material is definitely very thick what i picked up for the second thing that i got for the two for 24 are these flare pants which i've already worn at a couple times so that's why they might have some like white stuff for piling on them you'll see it better in the tron portion i can't really is it working? I don't know. They are long on me, so if you're 5'2 and below, I would recommend either getting them hemmed or just these wouldn't work for you. Super adorable though, and these are very much in style right now ever since Emma Chamberlain posted a picture in them. Never did I think I would need something like this in my life, but I highly recommend to go out and buy one. Moving on, I picked up a pair of jeans from Urban Outfitters. These are the Style Slim Straight and these are it they have these really beautiful ripped pieces in the knees and then they have like these splatters also right here i actually picked these up in a 26 to get a more looser and like baggier type of look to them it's a very beautiful like unique type of wash oh i also picked up another pair of jeans i actually bought these off of depop these are the pretty little thing baggy jeans that a lot of people have posted them in and they have like these massive massive rips in the knees same on this side and they're pretty nice and baggy uh, these are size either 24 or 23 which would be like a zero on pretty little thing it's my actual size and even then i would say these are a little bit loose on me and like i said very very baggy and sorry someone just texted me the last pair of jeans that i picked up are these jeans from asos they're like a black washed out type of color and i know that i picked these up in a 26 and I think the small size which was a 24. I'm so sorry. I cannot speak right now I just wanted it to be like a little bit more of a baggier fit which these definitely are and they're actually very very long They have like a flare at the bottom so you guys can see they're a little bit more wide-legged So I picked up a couple things from the Brandy Melville section on Depop as I've mentioned before If you do want to still shop with Brandy You could always shop on the Brandy section on Depop because most of those are going to be secondhand starting off with with this pink very pale pink uh sweater vest you pair it with like a pleated skirt or even just with like the collar neck under i've seen a lot of people resell their sweater vest on depop so like i said if you are looking for one like this i'm pretty sure you could find it i also picked up this brown cardigan as if i don't need more brown i'm literally wearing all brown right now brown is pretty much i feel like one of the main colors that follows the fall trend. This one's very nice, very pretty. I really like cardigans, so I thought I would pick this one up. You could definitely style this with a white top under it, white tank under it, or you can just style it on its own. Um, last one I have here is probably my favorite one because it reminds me of Slytherin. So this is the cardigan here. It's not buttoned up. I unbuttoned them because I don't like to wear it buttoned up. It looks too weird if it's buttoned up, but when it's just like this and you're wearing a tank top under it, I think it looks really cute. I just thought this was also a very unique colorway. It has like that navy sort of like plaid print right there and then like the white. Super cute. Next up we have this sort of fleece is this fleece is it fleece material it's like this navy turquoise crew neck and it just says what does it say on it big dogs i picked it up from this instagram shop and they're local in my area so the guy was able to drop it off but i know they have a depot so i'm pretty sure they do ship i'll have that also down below if you guys are interested in checking out their stuff because a lot of their stuff is very much affordable i also got this top from tiger miss it's actually a really pretty top it has like this detailing right here in the sleeves 
and what you do with these strings right here you like tie them around your body and you'll see in the tron portion how it goes but very nice like puffy sleeve sort of top i picked up this one from tiger miss as well and it's just like that tie-dye sort of print has like the stitching along the top i like when the tops are very soft and just very easy and comfortable to wear it almost feels like loungewear that i would wear around the house but yeah this is very nice it's like very casual but it also spices up an outfit a couple things that i forgot to mention from yes styles this is one of the um, it's just this argyle sweater. It's like not a fitted one. It's definitely like that boxy look very much fall vibes and then next up i have this top which i've seen around pinterest and tiktok super adorable top and i like the material i like that it's like a mesh type of material i don't know if you guys can tell and then it has this pink little lace detailing it's very cute nice and cropped so i also picked up this color block denim jacket from miss guided and it's like a cropped sort of look it also has like these different shades of denim it even has like this white here i've definitely seen this trend go around it's very cute i really personally really like this i also picked up this lavender cardigan this one is actually going to be up on my depop unfortunately it was not as like how how i wanted it to be i wanted it to be like a little bit cropped but it's kind of bigger on me actually so i would recommend if you're like a smaller medium this would look amazing on you i love the color and the buttons also make it very dainty and adorable super nice go check it out i picked up a couple things from cotton on first thing being i picked up this very basic gray tank very stretchy and very like thick and soft material it's like a ribbed ribbed i was about to say roaching that's what i meant to say but it's ribbed very affordable i think it was about ten dollars or there might be a sale that's like two for twenty so i got something else in this gray color it says stress less care less right to me my sister and my dad have this shirt which is kind of funny that my dad has it i got it in a size large so that it was like that oversized sort of like t-shirt fit and i've just been really liking the look of like oversized shirts with shorts and stuff i also picked up a pair of gray sweatpants from them their sweatpants are actually really amazing but i cannot find them right now so for now i'll insert a try on portion of them very nice would recommend buying them because they're very soft and i have worn them multiple times last thing i think that is not from the thrift because the rest of these are going to be from the thrift i believe it's just this black tank top from forever 21 forever 21 has a lot of like good basics and they're cheaper i like urban outfitters but the thing is you can also find their basic tanks at an affordable price at forever 21 and they're like the same exact look this one's very nice it's like a deep sort of v very basic black goes with everything i have another argyle vest this one is from depop so it's like considered thrifted i guess because you obviously can't pick it up unfortunately it's very cute very cropped it's a very like small fit on me so i kind of like that actually from the thrift store that i just went to yesterday i picked up these pair of jeans they're just this light wash or like blue tone light wash blue tone sort of jean and i think they're gonna be a little bit big on me so i'm gonna like tie the shoelace around here to sort of tighten them up i wanted them to be more of a baggy fit so i picked these up i also found these pair of jeans which i was so surprised to find they have like these rips in the knees these definitely remind me of like a jean from fashion nova or something you know i think these will actually fit me pretty much like true to size and yeah these are in a 25 so they should be good also got these adidas shorts just for lounging around their house my bad it's backwards is it bad? yeah and very basic i don't have like shorts that i can just throw on i like to have shorts or like spandex and i can just wear if i don't want to be like suffocated my legs suffocated because it's a hot day so something like that very nice picked up this argyle print sweater my dad said i don't know if the brand is penguin if that's what it's called but it's a very expensive brand or at least it was back in some time i'm not 100 percent sure this actually shrank in the washer unfortunately so it originally was like more baggier than i you know like i had, i planned it to be more baggier but um it shrank so yeah i also picked up this very oversized sweater has like this little detailing right here this part's like really thick actually and along the sleeves very nice a v-cut sort of top also picked up this jacket yeah like a jacket 
has like a sort of collar right here and it's like brown so I really like the two colors that are meshing here together the pink and the brown almost like my two favorite colors in one it's kind of like that windbreaker type of material very nice very cute should we have like a cute number count going on here here we have this quarter zip up I think this also is like a really expensive brand it's Tommy Bahama I don't know my parents just tell me this I'm not 100% sure I wouldn't know I wasn't really I would I, I wouldn't know it's a very beautiful color all right, so I think that's pretty much the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this clothing haul. And I'm so sorry if it was just a really, 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 really long one. Uh, like I said, a lot of these clothes have been, been accumulated for a great amount of time. Literally since possibly like April, no, August that these been, have been have been accumulated. Sorry, there's something right there. I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Comment something that you enjoyed throughout the video. And I love you guys. Bye.